Are you making any of these mantis keeping mistakes? Stick around to find out. In today's video we'll be talking about all the different mistakes that many people make during uh, mantis keeping. Some of which I've made myself and some of which I've taken from others. Let's learn about these together and let's get into it with number one. Coming in at number one we have impulse buying mantis. I'm sure, I'm sure whenever you've been looking through online stores or if you walked into a pet store, you see a mantis that really stands out to you. You really want it, but you don't know anything about it. If you buy that animal, it can be extremely problematic if you don't research, because some species require very, very specific conditions. Take Idona mantis diabolica, the devil flower mantis. For example, they need high temperatures, mesh cages, Flying prey only, they can be a right pain in the arse to care for. So, yeah, please do your research, otherwise, it could end up in a dead mantis and an unhappy owner. And, yeah, I'm sure lots of people have made this mistake uh, back in March last year, 2020. Uh, a bunch of people were impulse buying um, orchid mantis and ghost mantis, like this female here, uh, because. Uh, they saw people keeping them on TikTok, and I'm sure multiple people are from uh, that are watching this have been have come from um, have come from TikTok. But that's not a problem if you do your research into the animal. Uh, yeah, orchid mantis can be slightly more difficult than other species to care for, but that's not the topic for this video. Coming in with number two. This next one kind of links in with number one, and this is keeping mantis in jars. Mantis need cross ventilation. This means uh, they need a breeze coming through one side of the enclosure through the other. Uh, glass jars, generally speaking, can't pr provide that unless you've got custom made, which most people don't. Uh, I'm saying most uh, this ties in with the last one because there was a bunch of people keeping orchid mantis, the species that needs high ventilation and high humidity in um, glass jars. Jars, generally speaking, are pretty good for humidity, but not good for ventilation, so that's why I do not recommend them for enclosures, and yeah, just do your research into, into enclosures and you'll find out more about why this is important. The next one I'm going to say is overfeeding your mantis. I've personally been guilty of this. As you can see, I've got a very, very chunky uh, Kriobosa elongata here. That being said, I don't think it's overweight as there are, uh, generally you can tell by black lines appearing between the abdomen segments. This is a sub-adult female, but yeah, she's really cool, really pretty good species. Uh, this can cause problems during mismolting and, um, yeah, be, uh, can affect mobility in larger species, especially once the males and females have got their wings, they might not be able to fly as well, but yeah. Moving on to the next one. The next one I'm going to talk about is these. These are isopods. Uh, reptile keepers will know them for keeping them in a bioactive setup. But these really aren't great cleanup crew if you're keeping them with other invertebrates because they're extremely protein hungry and they'll eat a molting mantis if they can reach them. They'll eat literally anything they can, protein wise. I give mine um, mealworms. Sometimes dead mice, my snakes don't eat, but yeah, don't keep these with your mantis unless you want dead mantis potentially. Uh, they also breed really quickly, and they'll eat uh, multi mantis, leading to miss molt, uh, leading to um, death potentially for the mantis. And also, they're not particularly good for the mantis if it decides to um, snack on them. So moving on to the next one. Next up, we've got feeding crickets. Now feeding crickets can be done if you purge them, which means basically feeding them up on uh, greens, but not carrots, uh, and other vegetables. Um, pretty easy to do, but generally speaking it's not a great idea to feed them because same issue with isopods, they'll eat them whilst they're molting and uh, they can also um, spread diseases. I'm not too informed on the diseases that uh, crickets can imposed on your mantis, but my recommendation would be to go and research it yourself. Um, my, most of my species prefer flying prey anyway, 
like the ghost over there, but she will be teenage before I'm a big three, which I took off her because she was getting really chunky. Um, but yeah. And then this little clear boat at the moment on uh, Fruit Fries, but it will be moving on to Wax Moth soon, and uh, Green Bottles. But yeah, absolutely great little magic to eat. Crickets, just smell as well. So my recommendation if you want a really active crawling prey would be uh, Red Runner Roaches, also known as the Turkestan Roaches, but Bacillateralis, so many different names for one species. Uh, you can also use Juvia Roaches for a lot of species, uh, Hispin Cockroach Nymphs work well. You can use Mealworm, Black Goldfly, Black Goldfly Larvae, um, that's a few things you can use actually. Next up we've got Handling Mantis after a molt. Uh, this can be detrimental to the mantis care. I know you really want to see them after they molted. They've got a whole new form. They look almost completely different, especially if they just hit adult. But it's not a good idea as it can cause deformities in the mantis. And because they haven't hardened up yet. Especially with adults, they might not have uh, inflated their wings. So you need to leave them to it. Otherwise, it can really affect how they look as adults and also their uh, mobility and ability to, ca to catch prey. For example, I've seen people that have handled their mantis too soon after a molt and their mantis has messed up raptorials and it can't feed for itself. But, um, yeah, just leave them to it basically. After a molt for 24 hours for nymphs and then I'd say about 48 hours for adults. But yeah, and then you should be able to avoid it. So thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.